This here is Backwoods Billy coming to the beautiful Delmar East. Eastern Shore. Remember to click, like, and subscribe to Backwoods Billy Crappy Reviews. Check me out on Backwoods Billy Fitness. I'm going to be adding more videos soon as I'm ever being sick and the boss has been healing. And with the auto action, my neck's getting a little better. Maybe I'll move and get some workouts in, hopefully. So, um, talk today about, I've done the Arbor Mist Peach before, but the difference here is the base. This is the Chardonnay base. The one that I reviewed was a Moscato. Moscato is going to be a little bit sweeter. You can get uh, characteristics of people say it's grape taste to it. Uh, you can have some orange honeysuckle. Um, you can get some notes to it like of caramel, things of that nature. Whereas the Chardonnay base is a little bit different. Now Chardonnay is one of the most popular grapes in the world as far as, you know, being desirable. However, it's not one of the most planted grapes in the world. Um, well, not one of the most planted grapes in the world. Now, with the Chardonnay, although it's popular, one of the big reasons it's popular is because it tends to take on the characters which is soul and the climate of which it's grown in. So even in California, you get the Napa Valley, um, and then you've got, for example, Santa Barbara at the opposite end um, of it, and um, Sonoma Valley in between. So you look at pear, apple, of your main tasting notes with this, and as you move, you know, fruity notes, as you move into the um, other areas, you get more tropical. So Santa Barbara at the other end of it is going to be more tropical because they tend to use the grape when they let it ripen more. Therefore, there's less juice to it, and you're going to get um, more of the taste, and you get more tropical notes. And from Santa Barbara, we're going to move to Sonoma Valley. You're going to get slight tropical notes, but you can also get some pear and apple notes to it as well. And that's going to be looking at an unoaked version with an oaked version, which this is not, obviously. You're going to have some of the wood tannin notes to it, and you can get some spices like nutmeg. You can get vanilla. You can get coconut. Um, things of that nature. You can get pie crust type of notes out of it. So we're going to take a look at this. This is going to be, the thing about this, which is interesting, I'll, I'll break the seal first. Um, this is one of these wines with the glass I didn't do. Uh, I, I need to read this to do this because um, I don't have the best eyesight in the world. Arbor Mist. It's a peach Chardonnay is refreshing new way to drink wine. Its combination of Chardonnay wine and luscious peach fruit flavors is the perfect beverage for casual get-togethers, festival celebrations, and relaxing at home. Now I want to read this because the first ingredient is Chardonnay, then it moves to water, high fruit juice, corn syrup, natural flavors, citric acid, carbon dioxide, which is going to be used to carbonate. There's going to be a still wine, then you're going to be a light carbonate and carbonate, and we can go further into, you know, a fortified wine and that really going on right now that means to be fortified with either more sugar or it can also have um, brandy in it. But for our purposes here, we're looking at the fact this is going to have corn sugar added to it to make it sweeter and also have a little more sugars for the um, the up the alcohol. And however, this is low alcohol by six percent. Typically, wine alcohol for wine is ten percent. Beer is like four point five to five point oh percent. It could be much higher for some of your styles, fourteen and even higher than that, seventeen. Um, most wine. Serving is five ounces, you get five per bottle. This is eight ounces, and it says serve retainer about three. And 160 calories, wine's 120 to 150, so you're in that ballpark. 17 grams of carbs, not bad. 20 grams of sodium, that's still low, 1%. Zero fat, less than one gram of protein, and 7% calcium. So for those, if you look at the wine, you got a little hiss from the bottle. This is a screw cap. I got this, the most wonderful wine of the year. I don't know if it's going to be other than that, but... The thing about it, I don't like to be a wine snob, and I don't like people that say, oh, you have to drink a certain Cabernet Sauvignon. Or, you know, and the thing about it, if you do want to go out and get some Chardonnay wine, the thing that's really good about a Chardonnay is that you can get some really good Chardonnay wines that are priced about where a cheap Cabernet Sauvignon would be, and they're going to be like the top shelf ones. And you can look for you know, areas of France or the Bordeaux region, but you can also look um, in California and Australia, Chile, things of nature, and Chile maybe more thing, California more fruity, even fruits would be Australia. But... You look at the wine, it's leaned towards clear on there. It's got a slight green tinge to it. Lean towards clear. A little bit of carbonation. Uh, the big thing you get with this is peach. A lot of peach on the nose right up front. Peach. Sweetness to it. I don't detect any alcohol. The other thing about Chardonnay is it's a textured wine. There's a lot of acid, actually high acid, and has um, 
high glycerin content, and the two of them combined together create a velvety texture, and it's delightful and sensual. But it is delightful. Typically, people would describe it as delightful, sensual, sexual, things of that nature, and, um, like a party in your mouth type of thing. This does have a little more viscosity to it, but it's kind of hard to tell with that because they add things like corn sugar to it. It's good. It's not as sweet as the Moscata. So I'm going to tell you right now, looking at this wine, um, it's not as sweet as the Moscata. And in the taste, there is an apple note and a slight pear note to it, but peach is the predominant characteristic you get out of the wine. I don't care about your business. So Backwoods Billy, two thumbs up. This is a great wine if you want to sit around the fire pit, sit around the fireplace, if you want to sit by the pool, at the beach, casual get together a party. This is not a snobby wine at all, and I think a lot of people will enjoy it. As a matter of fact, you could buy a Moscato and a Chardonnay, which people like better, which you taste you like better. It's a Backwoods Billy, two thumbs with a click, like, subscribe to Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews. Check me out on Twitter at Backwoods Billy CBR. With a click, like, subscribe, and force to your friends, family, coworkers, and enemies. Have an awesome day, guys. Two thumbs up.